Today we're talking about the Divi Overlays plugin from Divi Life. Right, so we're here in the dashboard of WordPress. We've already downloaded Divi Life, and we're gonna take you over to the site real quick, show you some of the documentation, but also we're gonna show you the plugin itself. So Divi Life has a ton of great plugins. I like the guy who owns the company. Tim Streifler is a phenomenal dude. You go over to his website, divilife.com, go under plugins and check out Divi Overlays. And he's got a ton of other great plugins, just great memberships. Definitely worth checking out if, you've not, if you're not familiar with those, those products. So we're gonna go into the back end and Divi Overlays, basically what it is, is a pop-up builder for Divi, where you can use the Divi Builder to really take some of the power and use all of those layout customizations and build pop-ups from that. So it starts from $15 for a single site, three sites is $29 and unlimited sites is $59 and all of those are for a year. They do have the lifetime option here, $129. That's the way I went, but we're an agency. We build sites for a lot of people. And so it's the best value long-term. I could spend $59 and within two years, basically, I would have paid for the lifetime subscription. So, you know, it made sense for me to do the lifetime and just call it a day. But Tim and his team have done an awesome job with their documentation as well. You know, there's getting started, how to use triggers, <clears throat> excuse me, automatic triggers, and then some frequently asked questions. Plus, they also give you some layouts, some pre-done layouts that you can download when you buy the plugin as well. But today, we're just going to walk you through from the very beginning and show you how to use the plugin. Just very basic, very high level. So we're going to add in a new plugin. We'll go to upload and choose a file. We've saved it to our desktop. And we've got Divi Overlays version 2.5.6. And we're going to install. Now that it's installed, we're going to hit the activate. Make sure everything's good to go. But you've also got Divi Overlays here. It adds a new custom post type. And you can go in and create new Divi Overlays. So we're going to go over here and hit add new on a Divi overlay and it's going to bring you into the back end where we can actually create our overlay and we're just going to call this test overlay. So there's a few different options available in the back end. You can select the overlay animation and this is the way that the overlay is actually going to pop in. So you can do genie, simple genie and a bunch of other things. Uh, personally, I like, I like scale and content push is pretty cool too. Uh, we're just going to go the basic fade and slide for this one, though. There's also display locations where you can pick specific pages where you want this to pop up. There's some automatic triggers. You can put exceptions. You can customize the close button. Down here, you've got those automatic uh, triggers where there's time delay, and you can set how many seconds you want it to pop up or how many seconds you want to wait until it pops up. You can do scroll percentage exit intent, and or a time delay. You can set schedules, start and end time, recurring schedule. There's a lot of customization here. We're gonna leave the trigger off and we're gonna go ahead and use the Divi Builder. And then we're here in the back end, we've got the Divi Builder up. We're gonna add just a basic contact form. This is what we wanna do, just a very simple contact form, basic Divi, and we can do the visual editor you know, in case we want to change a few things. Let's say we do just a custom button. And this is cool. This is where you have all of your options, right? So you can make the, the text bigger. Change the button background. And let's go ahead and publish. Now everything's pretty much created. I mean, we've got our, our overlay. It's saved. It's going to do the actions we needed to do, but now we want to trigger it on the front end. This is key here. This is what we're going to need. We're going to go ahead and copy this, copy this text, and we're going to go into our menu. And there's a few things that you need to do specifically on this menu. So we've got this and you see it's just a URL and it's just a navigation label. So what we want to do is go up here to screen options and make sure that link relationship is checked and it adds an option here. We'll close this and we're gonna paste 
the link that came from the back end inside of the overlay itself. And we're gonna hit save. So now that this is saved, let's go into the front end and preview. So we'll jump into the front of the site. And when we click the contact button that's in the menu link up here, it should open up this overlay. And it does. So there's obviously some more customization that we can do on the back end, the colors here, a few different things that we can do. We can shrink it in, we can make sure that it gets um, sized on mobile, a lot of different things. But the basis of it is pretty much that. We can jump back into the back end and I'll show you how to change the actual colors of the background. So there's some options here inside of the overlay itself down at the bottom. So we'll scroll down here and you'll see this overlay option. Select the overlay background. We can make it completely transparent if we want. The overlay font color, this won't really matter too much. And let's say we customize this close button. So we can change the actual text color, the background color. So it can be background white, text, let's see. Let's go back with this color. See a preview down there. No border radius needed. We can extend the padding so that the button stands out. Let's go ahead and update this. Now that we've got that customized a little bit, let's take a look at the contact form itself. So there's a few things that you really do have a lot of control over. We can change the background here, make it truly transparent, and then we can adjust the sizing as well. And you can do that on different, different screen sizes. So if we want to shrink this in, align it to the middle, and just make it a little bit tighter, we can do that here. We can take it into tablet mode and extend it, and then phone, and make it 100%, no problem. That really helps with the overall styling. We'll go ahead and save things. And then we'll, we'll open up the front. And then we'll go ahead and check the contact form again. When we open it here, you're gonna see things shrunk in just a little bit. There's a background color here, we put it white, and then you've got the X there, and you can just completely change the look of, of all of this. And the beauty is that once you do it once, all you gotta do is update it inside of the builder, and you're good to go. So that's one way to, to trigger some of these overlays from the menu, but you can also trigger them from links themselves and that's done with these classes here. So we'll go ahead and copy this class as well and then we'll show you how to use it in the front end. Here in the front end we're going to show you how to turn a link into the overlay. And it's pretty easy. It's almost as easy as doing it in the menu. Um, all you've got to do is take the ID that we copied here from the manual triggers and then in the builder in the front end, we're gonna create a link out of some text or a button module or anything that you wanna use and that can become a trigger. So let's go into here. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna take the word pina coladas. And we're gonna turn it into a link and the URL has to be something. So you want to do just that. You want to make sure that that's a link of some sort. Press OK. And then in the ID, under the Advanced tab, this is where you want to drop that overlay. We'll press OK. You see that the link is now active and we'll save the page. So now we're in the front end and you remember before we set contact to trigger that overlay. Now we've also set up this and when we hit the link here because the ID was assigned with that module it also triggers it from the link so this is an easy way to do it and that works for any module that has a link on it it can be a blurb a call to action it can be a button it can be really anything that you want it's that easy to trigger these and the, the possibilities are endless you could need a, a product overview you can trigger an overlay and have a description you can use it like this where it's a contact form and without taking them to another page they can get in touch with you. It could be a sign-up form for a course. It could be anything, any module that you want to do. Um, the possibilities really are only limited by what you can imagine. So 
Divi overlays is one of those things that I may not use on every single site, but it's absolutely beneficial. And there are many sites where this can be used and be extremely useful. So thank you for sitting through another one of these walkthroughs. We appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video.